Welcome to our tech troubleshooting video. Today, we're addressing a frustrating issue that many developers encounter when working with Docker and Flask. Our viewer is struggling to access their Flask app running inside a Docker container. They mentioned that their app isn't responding to requests, which can be quite perplexing. Let's dive into the details and see how we can help resolve this issue. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. Let's troubleshoot the issue with accessing your Flask app inside the Docker container. First, ensure that your Flask app is set to run on the correct host. In your Docker file, you have exposed port 5000. This is correct, but make sure your Docker run command maps the ports properly. Now let's verify that your Flask app is actually running inside the container. You can check the logs of your Docker container using the following command. If the logs show that the app is running, but you still can't access it, ensure that your post request is correctly formatted and targeting the right URL. Finally, if everything seems correct, but the issue persists, consider checking your firewall settings or any network configurations that might be blocking access. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To access your Flask app running inside a Docker container, make sure to run it with the command flask run dash dash host equals 0, .0, .0. This allows external access. Even if you modify your app to include app.run host equals 0, .0, you might still face access issues. The key is to ensure you're using the correct port. Let's now look at another user suggested answer. A user faced issues accessing their Flask app in a Docker container. They resolved it by using app.run with debug mode and setting the host to 0 0.0.0.0. And that's it guys. I hope this video has helped find that solution that you're looking for. And if it did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until the next time that you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.